the final part of their mission is underway. Peter flies his drone towards the crater and starts to circle the danger zone. This is what is unfolding before us, right now. Within days and sometimes just hours, our planet has displayed a burst of extraordinary natural phenomena, shaking both the scientific community and the world's most vigilant monitoring network. The groundwork began with volcanic unrest, events so frequent and synchronous that experts consider them possible preludes, a soft start, the faintest hint of something potentially larger brewing beneath the crust. Meanwhile, high above, the sun has grown volatile. Major solar flares have emerged, opening coronal holes and sending energetic streams across the solar system to Earth. Their influence may be reaching farther than first imagined, reaching through the atmosphere and down to the tectonic heart of our planet. The questions have never been more pressing or more unsettling. Could the sun, at 93 million miles away, be not just Earth's source of daylight, but a potential spark for the planet's seismic shakes and volcanic convulsions? What do the patterns of events clustering across the globe say about the planet's internal state? Are we witnessing the quiet start of a larger chain reaction? Or are the recent events simply the randomness of geological time? In this broadcast, we dissect each chapter of this unfolding planetary drama, examining the fires beneath the mantle, the tremors at the surface, and the energetic outbursts of our nearest star. Is there a hidden chain linking these distant phenomena? Or is the world displaying the unpredictable chaos of natural forces? Stay with us as we delve beneath the surface, into the science, the speculation, and the uncertainty at the heart of these discoveries. Chapter 1 Sun's Wrath Unleashed, Solar Flares Strike What unfolds when the sun's surface becomes unsettled? A coronal hole opens after a series of solar flares, and Earth faces a rush of high-speed solar wind and cosmic energy. Within days, Monitoring satellites have recorded surges of electromagnetic radiation, earthbound and unrelenting, testing our planet's magnetic shield. But can a coronal hole on the sun's surface actually destabilize the Earth? In what ways does the vast energy released by the sun interact with processes far below our feet? The answer, scientists say, begins with the nature of solar activity. Massive solar flares and coronal holes unleash streams of charged particles and electromagnetic radiation toward Earth. These events do not literally unbalance the sun. Rather, the resulting solar wind streams through these holes and collides with Earth's magnetosphere, producing spectacular auroras and shifting electromagnetic environments in the atmosphere. Recently, a sequence of strong flares and pronounced coronal holes sent waves of solar wind toward Earth, leading to geomagnetic storms. These phenomena increase ionization in the upper atmosphere, produce bright auroral displays, and at times, disrupt electrical power grids and satellite operations on the ground. While these effects are most dramatic in the skies, sensitive instruments above and below ground register subtle shifts in the Earth's electromagnetic environment, as well as minor induced currents. The question for researchers has shifted, not whether the sun can influence Earth's atmosphere and technological systems, but whether its effects can go deeper to touch the planet's geophysical processes. Chapter two. Unrest at the threshold, volcanoes stir. If auroras paint the night sky, what is happening beneath our feet, in the shadows of the planet's most volatile peaks? In recent weeks, global volcano monitoring has flagged a clear escalation in volcanic unrest, an uptick being called a soft start, perhaps an opening act to a greater event percolating quietly below the crust. Is there a direct connection between solar activity and volcanic unrest? If so, what path could link energy in the sky to magma below? The science here hints at a relationship but stops short of confirmation. Volcanic systems like those beneath Kilauea or along subduction zones constantly accumulate pressure. Their eruptions depend on a balance of deep-seated pressure and the resistance of the overlying crust, a system sensitive to the slightest perturbations. One hypothesis suggests that rapid changes in Earth's upper atmospheric electrical and magnetic conditions provoked by solar activity, might indirectly influence stresses in the Earth's very shallow crust. This effect would be extremely slight, much smaller than the forces typically driving volcanic eruptions, but just possibly sufficient to tip already primed volcanic systems. While there is currently no proven direct causal mechanism, clusters of volcanic unrest, abnormal tremor swarms, 
synchronously increased gas venting, or coordinated episode of minor eruptions, invite close scrutiny when solar weather becomes especially intense. Although not yet considered fact, the possibility of a subtle solar influence remains open as monitoring networks gather more global data on volcanic and geomagnetic activity. Chapter 3 Earthquake Mystery – Trigger in the Heavens? Imagine a scenario where seismic disasters have distant cosmic influences. That's an idea being evaluated by a handful of researchers, including those such as Dr. Keiji Satake, a prominent seismologist. The hypothesis, earthquakes, which arise from the mechanical buildup and sudden release of stress along faults, might in rare cases be triggered by external impulses. Is it plausible that solar flares or geomagnetic storms could tip fault lines into rupture? Could Earth's crust, perpetually near breaking in certain locations, be made to slip by even minor outside forces? Scientific consensus holds that it is the buildup of tectonic stress, over years, centuries, or longer, that makes earthquakes inevitable. However, faults often remain in a critical state, where small perturbations, from physical vibrations to perhaps even electrical or magnetic forces, could, in theory, provide the tiniest nudge at the right moment. Some statistical studies suggest a short-term increase in global seismicity following intense solar storms, but the evidence is so far circumstantial. The proposed mechanism centers on the disturbance of Earth's geomagnetic field by solar storms, leading to localized currents and changes in atmospheric electrical charge. In rare cases, these may, just possibly, alter the stress environment next to faults, serving as a trigger for earthquakes already primed to happen. However, direct causality remains highly debated, and the scientific community urges caution before embracing such links. Patterns noted to date remain intriguing but inconclusive. Chapter 4 A Surge of Volcanic Warnings Several weeks, a string of eruptions and tremors has swept across volcanic arcs worldwide, from the Pacific's Ring of Fire to Mediterranean belts. Is this simply a statistical coincidence, or is there a hidden synchronizing force? What stands out is not just the number of eruptions, but their timing. Instead of rare, isolated events, multiple volcanoes have displayed unusual activity almost simultaneously. Ground inflation, vent openings, and sulfur dioxide emissions spiking together in separate regions. Historically, truly synchronized volcanic activity is rare. These recent clusters have caught scientists' attention precisely because the pattern appears less random. Some researchers highlight that large-scale atmospheric or geophysical changes, such as those potentially induced by major solar storms, may affect multiple volcanoes at once by slightly altering regional stress fields or atmospheric pressure. However, these ideas are still under active investigation. No direct lever linking solar weather with volcanic triggers has been found, but the apparent simultaneity of recent warnings has revived calls for broader research. Chapter 5 Solar Impact, Global Grid, Technology at Risk Solar storms have time and again shown their ability to disrupt technology. When the sun releases a burst of energetic particles, as in a strong flare or coronal mass ejection, the resulting geomagnetic waves can destabilize power grids, satellites, and even ground-based electricity infrastructure. Power utilities monitor for geomagnetically induced currents that can overload transformers and cause blackouts. Airlines may reroute flights to avoid communications blackouts at high latitudes. Even underground cables and pipelines can experience induced currents or corrosion during the most severe space weather. But could these magnetic storms also interfere with our warning systems, masking the signals geologists and seismologists monitor for volcanic or seismic changes? The concern is real. Electromagnetic noise from solar storms can raise the background level on sensors, making it harder to pick out weak warning signals from volcanic unrest or micro-earthquakes. That said, geophysical networks are designed to filter out large-scale interference and are constantly being improved as our understanding of both solar and terrestrial risks grows. Chapter 6 The Soft Start Phenomenon Are We Ready? Many in the monitoring community have called recent surges in volcanic and seismic activity a soft start. But what does this mean in geological terms? Are we observing harmless, isolated quakes and eruptions, or the tentatively unfolding next act of large-scale tectonic and volcanic unrest? Geologist Dr. Lucy Jones, known for her work in earthquake forecasting, describes the outer crust as a brittle skin wrapped around a churning ocean of magma. Most events are minor, faint signals tiny bulges at the surface, brief tremors, 
subtle gas emissions. Scientists track these as possible precursors to larger disasters. When these warning notes cluster not just locally but globally, the possibility arises that the different parts of Earth's system are interacting in more subtle ways than we have yet recognized. Sometimes the redistribution of stress from a minor eruption or quake can alter pressure balances regionally, possibly encouraging neighboring faults or volcanoes to follow suit. Still, most individual earthquake and volcanic events are isolated, and global cascade effects, outside very rare contexts, remain uncommon and not directly tied to outside cosmic triggers in mainstream research. Chapter 7 93 Million Miles The Unexpected Trigger Could the sun, so distant, play a hand in shaping things beneath our feet? This notion once belonged at the fringes of science, but is now re-examined in light of improved monitoring and big data analytics. Some recent reviews have reported overlapping timing between clusters of geomagnetic storms and increases in earthquake or volcanic activity. We would be remiss to ignore clustering, notes Dr. Keiji Satake, pointing to intriguing statistical hints. In some historical cases, bursts of solar activity have been observed before windows of elevated seismicity, but the effect is not always present and may be due to chance. The scientific response remains carefully skeptical. While some patterns are compelling enough to merit continued research, confirmation bias and random clustering must always be considered. At present, it is safest to say a possible association exists, and much more research is needed to move from coincidental timing to proven linkage. Chapter 8 Volcanoes, Earth-Shattering News When the Earth's surface breaks, Humanity sees the raw power that formed continents and oceans. As recent educational resources and media coverage note, volcanic eruptions are truly earth-shattering news. In this cycle, however, geologists are left to puzzle over whether what we see is really new or just a new vantage offered by global monitoring networks. On the ground and satellite sensors now routinely track subtle changes in ground tilt, gas emissions, and rising subsurface heat, clues that magma is on the move. Despite these advances, the precise triggers for most eruptions remain challenging to forecast. The interplay of pressure, heat, and chemistry at depth is extraordinarily complex. So complex, scientists admit, that even changes in solar input are considered as a potentially plausible, though yet unproven, influence. The prospect that future major eruptions might be forecast by solar and space weather, as well as conventional geological signals, continues to be explored in academic research but is not yet backed by definitive evidence. Chapter 9 Scientists Search for New Patterns With new anomalies surfacing, researchers like Dr. Emily Brodsky have turned to advanced analytics and machine learning to hunt for structure in seemingly random sequences of earthquakes and eruptions. Is there an invisible hand at work? Or do our minds simply seek patterns in chaos? Current models take in global data, solar activity, cosmic ray counts, geomagnetic indices, local fault stress, and more. Dr. Brodsky's group analyzes past clusters of seismic and volcanic events, cross-referencing them with periods of high solar activity. Initial findings point to possible statistical overlaps, but as often as not, these are balanced by gaps, intervals where nothing happens after major solar storms. The search is ongoing. If a genuine linkage emerges, the challenge will be learning to recognize subtle warning signs as early as possible. Chapter 10 tension at the plate boundaries. Earth's greatest stresses accumulate along the tectonic boundaries, the very seams of our drifting planet. Along the Pacific Ring of Fire, decades or centuries of motion can unwind catastrophically in moments, sending shockwaves around the world. Is the flex from above, the brief nudge of a geomagnetic storm, able to tip these loaded systems? Research continues on this frontier. While mantle convection and pressure from plate movements remain the dominant cause for earthquakes and eruptions, the theory that minor external stressors, perhaps induced by geomagnetic activity, could influence highly strained systems is not considered impossible, at least in rare circumstances. However, this influence would be subtle and not recognized as a primary factor in any major event observed to date. Chapter 11. Communication Collapse, Solar Storm Fallout. When the sun hurls out an exceptional flare or coronal mass ejection, the world's communications networks brace for disruption. GPS signals flicker, radio links fail, 
and satellites sometimes suffer lasting damage. Could these outages obscure critical signals from earthquake or volcanic monitoring devices? The risk is not imaginary. Solar storms can generate electromagnetic noise that temporarily interferes with some types of scientific equipment. If key warning data is lost or transmission delayed, response could slow. For this reason, redundancy and rapid data sharing are more vital than ever in global scientific networks. While recent system outages have not directly contributed to disaster, the vulnerability remains real, especially in regions where backup infrastructure is limited. Chapter 12. Sudden Swarms, Earthquakes and the Solar Cycle. Earthquakes sometimes occur in bursts, or swarms, with multiple regions becoming active in close succession. Do global clusters of seismic activity actually reflect the rhythms of the solar cycle? The answer remains tentative. Some researchers have noted that statistical clustering of earthquakes and eruptions can follow periods of increased geomagnetic disturbance, or particularly active solar cycles. Possible explanations include minor redistribution of crustal stresses via atmospheric or electromagnetic changes, but proving causality is difficult due to the sheer complexity and inherent variability of both the planet and the sun. Patterns sometimes emerge in global data, but clusters can just as easily arise by chance. Chapter 13. Pressure Points, the Bedrock Science. Behind all the drama lie the slow machinations of geology. Tectonic plates dive beneath one another at subduction zones, fueling centuries of stress buildup, while hot mantle plumes rise elsewhere, creating volcanic hotspots and domes. Could cosmic or solar events play a role in these age-old processes? Most geologists conclude that while planetary processes are primarily internal, their expression near the surface may, in theory, respond to even extremely subtle external forces. If solar storms can temporarily influence the upper atmosphere or induce currents in the crust, it is not an entirely outlandish idea that in rare situations, they could tip an already strained system past its breaking point, though no such direct event has yet been proven. Chapter 14. The Limits of Causality, Rethinking Coincidence. Why, despite some intriguing patterns, do most scientists decline to make direct causal links between solar flares and terrestrial disasters? The reason is rooted in the rules of evidence. Earthquakes and eruptions have clustered and pulsed since deep time, long before space weather was measured. The Earth is inherently noisy, and patterns, while suggestive, often dissolve on deeper analysis. Yet as global monitoring improves, it becomes easier to test new hypotheses. The current debate is not about whether the solar-terrestrial connection is possible, but whether it is significant and reliably detectable among the overwhelming noise of natural geophysics. For now, evidence for a consistent, direct role of solar flares in triggering catastrophic earthquakes or volcanic eruptions remains unproven, but interest in the question is higher than ever. Chapter 15. The Planet's Restless Future. So does the sun truly hold sway over the forces that shape our world? Or are we merely parsing patterns from the chaos of deep time? The questions linger, poised between the silence after the surge and the uncertainty of what comes next. What is clear is this. With every burst of solar energy, the Earth does respond, sometimes in the upper atmosphere, sometimes with technical disruptions, and occasionally alongside a burst of geological activity. The recent spate of volcanic activity, referred to as a soft start by some, is being carefully watched for signs of escalation. Scientists, seismologists, and geologists maintain their vigil, gathering evidence, comparing timelines, always studying whether a cosmic hand might nudge Earth's restless systems. This debate will not resolve today or even this decade, what is certain is that from the sun above to the iron core beneath, our planet's systems interact in ways we continue to study and seek to understand. The crust shivers with each tectonic rearrangement. Volcanoes keep ancient timetables, sometimes accelerating unexpectedly, and our technology remains vulnerable to the moods of the cosmos. Some call this a new era of vigilance, others a reminder of nature's unpredictability. The story is not yet finished, and each clue, each tremor, each flare, pushes us toward new understanding. For now, the planet and the sun continue their ancient dialogue, surprising us with each new turn, hinting at connections still shrouded in mystery. The next chapter is yet to be written. The restless energy at the heart of our world, and in the star that lights it, promises always to keep us watching, learning, and wondering.